legal or illegal? Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I have a very exciting episode for you today, but before we get into it, I must say that I am dedicating this series all season long to national gossip blogger Ken Rosenthal, because without him and his terrible journalism, I never would have had the idea to make videos like this to connect directly with you, the fans. So if you would like to go behind the scenes of big league life with me all season, in the clubhouse, on the field, in game, on the plane, etc., I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss this or any future content. Well, good morning, y'all. I slept in, getting into the field. Probably the latest I've ever gotten into a big league ball game. It's uh, 11.30 right now, so the game's in an hour and a half, but I'm literally doing nothing today. I have an off day uh, this cycle, so I have six days instead of five. So I'm gonna take my off day today, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing, and then start my day after routine tomorrow. So that's the plan. Just gonna go watch a baseball game and then figure out what I'm gonna do after. I got dressed at 12.55 for a 110 game. I'm trying to set the record for latest arrival, latest dress for a game. I think I did it. A Dodgers win. Walker, six innings shut out. That's great to see. Offense put up five. Got a little hairy there in the ninth, but Kenley came in and shut it down. So got the series win that we needed. So overall, good day for the boys. I have here some cleats and shoes and glove because tomorrow morning I have a shoot with uh, McLaren. Actually, the next three mornings I'm shooting some stuff with McLaren. So that should be pretty cool. They got some cameras and I don't know, sounds awesome. That's gonna be to promote the uh, new card that they're coming out with. Um, so, gotta bring my stuff with me. And that's tomorrow, and now I'm gonna go from you know, the stadium to the beach. Go for a little bit of a joy ride, put the windows down in the car, and uh, drive PCH a little bit, maybe take some pictures if we find some stuff that's interesting. But I've been enjoying driving my car recently, so I'm gonna get some driving in, go down by the beach, and enjoy this beautiful day. Made it home three minutes before I'm supposed to join this thing, so let's get on. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'll be doing this like before I go to sleep, right? This is at night? Exactly, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Before sleep, you got it, yeah. I have a visitor. Buster brought me a surprise. What do we got here, Buster? <laughs> Carrot case is getting cream cheese frosting on it right now. Yum! Who made the carrot cake? Who do you think made the carrot cake? Well, the vlog doesn't know who made the carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> this one is made with agave. It's yummy. I see you only have half a cake here. Did you eat the other half in testing no, it? No, I only cut it in half and brought you half because your mother and I get the other half. You're not the only one that's special in this family buster. <laughs> the real question is, are you hot tubable tonight? Absolutely. All right. Because then, until it's under pressure, it doesn't, yeah. but as soon as it hits that pressure, it just like seizes up. Yeah. This is step one of my sleep study that I'm doing tonight. You're on one the centimeter outside. On, right? You're gonna have to go to the mirror again. All right, back to the mirror we go. I better get good data out of this. That's all I have to say about this. Well, I am now officially ready for bed. This is what I look like. I got pulse oximeter here. We got stuff on my legs. We got all of this wired up. <laughs> this is how big leaguers sleep. If you wanna be a big leaguer, you gotta sleep like this. Good morning. Let's go do a video shoot for McLaren. My dude, show me where to park. All right, this will be cool. Hi, nice to meet you, welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, we've got 106 cameras. They're all machine vision cameras and half of them are infrared cameras. Half mm -hmm. of them are regular color cameras. Recording all at once. This is what all this stuff turns out to look like. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's nuts. Such cool technology. All right, back to work for the day. Nice fun morning, good shoot. Now I'm gonna get some good work in at the field. Green upper body lift, green lower body lift, which is great. I get to get after it in the weight room today, which is nice. Uh, yellow on conditioning. And here we go. Oh. I have to update my lower body soreness to a two. Quads are a little bit tight today. Dodgers win, three to one. Uh, Will Smith with a two run homer, Chris Taylor with a single solo shot. So Dodgers got three hits, 
but we got the dub. Typical baseball these days, not many hits, but when they do get hit, they go out of the yard and you win ball games that way. So good night overall, got, out this, got the series off to a good start. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the COVID regulations go away. So you got a stadium full, 50,000 people tomorrow back at Dodger Stadium. Can't wait to see all the Dodger fans. Going to be very, very fun. Another day, another McLaren shoot, day two of three, and I think I actually get to see the car today, which will be sweet. All right, what's the plan for today? What am I doing? Huh? Follow me. Yeah, throw it again. I got to do makeup first, though. Yep. Look at all these lenses. Wow. Yep. Got a bunch of stuff. Little setup here. I feel prepared here. I bring one camera and one lens and hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is what we're doing today. All right, what's first? Love? Baseball? Um, yeah, we'll have you walking. As soon as we get done with that and then and you've pitched and we've kind of played around with that, I think then we'll move the pitching mound out of the way, back the car in here, then helmet on, get in, start up sequence. So I get to do all the cool stuff except for driving the car. I love it. <laughs> Fun day. I finally got to actually touch the car and start it up, which is cool. I think tomorrow I get to drive it, maybe, maybe not. But uh, yeah, cool day. And now I'm off to the field to do my day job. <laughs> Uh, which is obviously the most important. So that's what we're up to. Okay, time to throw for the day, but big news, the MLB memo on foreign substance enforcement has come out and in typical MLB fashion, just has no, no feel to it. So here's some issues with it. One, you're doing something in the middle of the season when you've actively told players all season to continue doing whatever they've been doing in the past and that nothing is going to change. Then you're going to change it middle of the season. That's the first problem. You've actively lied and now you have a knee-jerk reaction to poor public perception because it's become a large issue. Second thing, if you're going to take away all tack, everything, hand can't be even tacky or sticky or anything like that, you got to make the balls have a little bit of tack to them. Like you got to figure out the ball issue first so that pitchers can actually get a grip on the ball because a lot of these balls you get are ridiculously slippy, ridiculously slippery when you are not sweating. And then when you are sweating, it, you, just, you cannot grab them. Um, so you gotta figure out that part first, you would hope. And then the third thing is, how are you gonna have umpires uniformly enforce the rule when no umpires have been trained yet on what is and isn't sticky? So you're gonna have some umpiring crews that thinks one thing is sticky and others that think another thing is sticky. For instance, I can mix sweat with rosin and get it sticky enough that like you can feel my hand and be like, oh yeah, that's kind of sticky but sweat is legal and rosin is legal so we have to have some definition on what is sticky and what's not and right now the umpires are just supposed to know and uniformly enforce a rule of like what is and isn't sticky it makes no sense so i do think to be clear i do think the memo is good long term i think that's good to have enforcement i think it's good to check and to level the playing field i've been saying this for four years i've told the league office to their faces. I've sat in the league office with them and talked to them about it. I've had many phone calls with the league office about this specific issue. They've refused to do anything about it for four years. Uh, I do think it's good that they're doing something about it finally. I don't think it's smart to do it in the middle of the season. I think it's ridiculous that they have chosen to do that after basically just lying to players and teams and everybody saying, we're not doing anything about it this year. Nothing's gonna change, just do what you do. It's frustrating. All right, y'all, I just posed this question to Twitter and I would be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let me know what you think below. Is this legal or is this illegal? Legal or illegal? I'll tell you later in the vlog what's on this ball and we can talk about it, but pause the vlog right now, drop your comment below, legal or illegal? One more time. Dodgers won again, it's a great feeling. Five to three, really good baseball game overall. Well played all around. Julio pitched really well. Mookie with a homer, a lot of good at bats and clutch hitting, so nice night overall. Great to have the fans back at Dodger Stadium because it was loud and it was energetic and that like pumped us all up. We just seemed a lot more into the game than we have recently and that's a lot due to the fans. So appreciate everyone that came out and watched the game and happy to have the stadium back to full capacity. It's gonna be me way more fun. Go past go. this life, then at the next one. Before we go for the sweep tonight, I gotta finish off day three of my McLaren shoot. So I'm pulling up right now and we're gonna get this thing finalized. I think I actually get to drive the car today, which would be sweet. 
All right, that was fun. That was fun. But today is a bullpen day, so I gotta get in the right mindset to, uh, to go work on some stuff in the pen. Finalize my little mechanical tweak, so my mechanics will be back to what they should be, and then command the ball. So, should be a good one. Let's do some experimenting, shall we? I'll show you guys start to finish how mainly just water and rosin can get sticky enough to hold a baseball up. I'll show you start to finish. And then y'all can answer the question, how the hell is MLB gonna enforce this? Okay, so we have here a baseball. Does not stick at all. Have here some water, just opened. Pour a little bit on my hands, get my hands kind of wet. So now my hands have a little bit of moisture on them. Ball doesn't stick. Experiments you got going on. I'm just showing people, you know, how rosin can get sticky enough. Sweat yeah. Now, if we go to the hair, get a little bit of sweat, a little bit more rosin, mix this up. So that's just sweat and rosin. So I don't know how MLB is going to police that because, you know, sweat's legal. Wipe my forehead, go to the rosin bag rub the baseball just rub it in nice and nice and tacky oh god Great. Finally feel like myself again. Curveball was back, changeup was back, command was back. Things are things are good. I'm out of my little funk. So that's a positive thing. Well, Dodgers lose. 2-0, got shut out. Played good baseball all around, but Wheeler was just too good tonight. And so one series, two to one. It's good. We got an off day coming up. Travel day to Arizona. We got three in Arizona. Need a sweep. And uh, yeah, starting on Friday. So I'll come in tomorrow, do a little bit of throwing, catch a team flight. Overall, a good homestand for us, I think. Happy off day and happy travel day. I gotta get packed up to head to Arizona. Oh yes, 91 degrees wow. with the sun down in Arizona. Love it. Feels like a furnace. Room tour, room tour. Okay, got the bedroom here. Where's the light switch? There we go. Bed. Nice full length mirror. Hey, say hi to the vlog. Restroom. Tub. Nice shower. Okay, workspace, need that. Very nice, and then over here, if I go the opposite way from my entrance, got a little another mirror, got another tub, another restroom, and we got couch here, TV. This is a big one, big suite, very nice. Very appreciative of this. This is bigger than some of my apartments have been in seasons. And prior years. Happy start day. I gotta go spit in a tube, get some food, do some scouting. Should be all good stuff. And then go out and dominate tonight. That's the plan. It's a great day. Slept great. I feel great. <sighs> We're gonna have a good outing tonight. Off we go to the field. Weighted balls and then we'll see what, see what the boys have in store for me today. Fires me up every time. So creative. Okay, right, time to pitch. Trevor Bauer, who makes his 15th start of the season. And Bauer got him to chase. Got him on the outside corner. And Trevor Bauer with strikeout number two. And he's Bauer on two and two. And Escobar strikes out swinging on a 94 mile an hour fastball. Got him. And there's the sword. To take. To the point in the game where one mistake could be the game. And a high chopper over the mound. Waiting for Justin Turner. And did he get him?
him with a tag. He did, says first base umpire Doug Eddings. Dodgers win 3 0. Great night for the boys. Steven Souza, player of the game. Crazy catch down in right field, sliding up against the wall. Comes up, hit off the next inning. Almost just killed it for the first run of the game in the seventh. So, final line for me tonight seven innings, three walks, three hits, eight punch outs, no runs, which I needed for my mental sanity. Overall, good night. Felt like myself out there, better pace in between the pitches, commanding the ball mostly better. Had a couple slip ups there, but uh, good night overall. So to answer the question I posed earlier, this ball, I don't know if it's legal or not. This is technically just sweat and rosin, which both are legal substances, but the ball is sticky. So is it legal or is it illegal? We don't really know right now. Thanks MLB.